Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will discuss about how to generate QR codes in Flutter app. So basically we will be making use of one such package called QR underscore Flutter which will help us achieve this kind of functionality in our Flutter app. What we have here is a simple demo app where we have an input field which is literally a text form field that will accept the data in the form of string for which the QR needs to be generated. Say for example let me provide a sample data and if you click this go button right at the end it is going to generate a QR for the particular string what you have entered in the text form field. So this is pretty much what we will be discussing in this video and without wasting time let's directly jump into the coding part and start implementing this in the Flutter app. Alright, first we need to add the package which is QR underscore Flutter and always check for the latest version as for the video recording date 4.0.0 is the latest version. Okay, so after adding this package let's move on to the main data file. Here starting with the main data file we, are, we have made use of generated routes and as you can see here the initial route points to my home page and here in the home page we have a stateful widget class here is where we will be building up the UI components. So let's first start by creating the basic UI components including the text form field and the QR widget. First let's build the app bar and the app bar is going to be a custom component which we have defined earlier in a separate art file. You can also take a look at that. Here we have a basic app bar with the kind of styles which is pretty much specified. Okay. And after the app bar we will be having the body that is going to contain two widgets especially the text form field and the QR widget. Therefore we will be wrapping that inside the column widget. And the first child is going to be the input field which is literally going to be the text form field. Okay and it is going to take the controller which is a text editing controller and upon pressing that go button which you saw earlier in the demo it is going to trigger the generate qr code function and the generate qr code function will be written down shortly so after which and again we will have some spacing and final widget is going to be the qr widget i will also walk you through how to define this qr widget so basically these are the components what we are going to have in this um, ui screen okay so now let's define this generate qr function the generate qr function is going to uh, what it is going to do is it is going to set that data value to the corresponding data what we have at present in the text form field so we'll be making use of the set state to trigger the states and say for example if the go button is being pressed without giving any value here we'll be making use of a snack bar indicating the user to provide value to the text form field for generating the qr code so this is pretty much basically the skeleton of the app okay so now let's take a look into this qr widget class this QR widget is nothing but a stateless widget class where we will be making use of um, the QR image which is the widget which you get as a result of the package installation and we will be wrapping that inside the visibility widget which is based upon the condition that uh, data whether it is empty or not based upon which we will be rendering the QR code. If the data in the text form field is going to be empty then at that time we won't display any QR code in the UI. Rather if there is any string value present in the text form field and upon clicking this go button then at that time we will validate and display a QR code for that corresponding data. Alright and this QR image widget is going to do the pretty much rendering logic of the QR code and you can hover over that where you can see a basic set of parameters which you can provide values for. The first parameter is going to be the data which is going to be a required one of course you need to provide the value for data for which the qr needs to be generated it is basically a string so you just need to provide the data in the form of string it can either be a basic string well it can either be a word or it can be a url it can even be a upi id can be a location whatever for which you need to generate a qr code you need to provide that inside the data parameter and it does have pretty much optional values like the color padding etc and you can also style your QR code based upon your use case. For this tutorial to keep it simple, I will be making use of the basic set of components. First would be the data. The data is nothing but the data which we get from the text form field controller. And the style is going to be the square, so it is most commonly used approach for the QR code. And I will be providing the color as black same way for the module color and if you want to have any image over there in the qr code right at the center you can provide that and say the embedded image you can it is totally optional you can either provide that value or can leave it empty and if you want to apply style for that image you can apply the um, width and height in the form of size and this size is nothing but the size of the entire qr widget okay if i save this change if I try to give a value, you will see that the QR is being generated. Um, basically, this square is the default one. You can either give it a circle. By doing so, you will see that uh, the corners 
has now changed the circle rather the module style is still the square and also say in that to merge with that style this is how you'll be having that here code in the form of circular one if you want to change the color you can you may give it as the primary color if you save the changes you will be able to edit the color of the qr code you can provide different colors for the eye as well as the module it's up to you okay so this is basically how you will be able to generate qr codes within your flutter app with the help of this package you will be able to generate qr codes for literally any string values you provide say for example if you want to abstract any data and you don't want to say that explicitly to someone rather if you wish to show that in the form of qr code you can make use of this package and at the same time i have also made a video regarding how to make use of encrypted qr codes that is how to encrypt the string data and, and generate a qr code out of it if you want to see that video you can just click the card at the top right corner and yeah that's it hope you guys find this totally useful if you do so consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one bye